Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. So, just another random day on the BMW, just having a look through a few things. The problem we've got, and I'll put it up in the description, is an error code on the Valvetronic, and I uh, thought I'd just go in for a bit of investigation today. So, not too much going wrong. Took a little while to get the head gasket off, sorry, the head cover, valve cover off, because of these gaskets, they were siliconed. So I'll just put a bit of silicon back on those when we put them back on. Checked a few of the obvious things, nothing seems broken. Checked the oil pipe and blew that through with air. So the eccentric shaft seems to be okay. Didn't really want to take the motor off today because I don't have a new one to see how that shaft's uh, feeling like. But obviously it's got the springs on it, so quite a bit of power. Did check the motor for resistance, uh, that came up good. And the problem we've got is sticky uh, eccentric shaft leading to reduced power. So suspicions are either the shaft bearings, uh, not so likely, or the motor itself, quite likely, maybe a low voltage. Uh, and then there's one other thing we noticed, and that is the eccentric shaft sensor on the end here. This connector was full of oil. So that's related to the seal sitting on top of the valve cover this one this seal's gone really hard so we'll just put a bit of silicon on that for today just try and get that seal we're buying a new one of those putting that on and seeing if that stops the oil going up inside that connector and then hopefully we don't get the error code okay so we've got most of the stuff out the way this is just crazy that this wasn't a connector onto this sensor wire um, would have been easy to unplug that one down the bottom there and get it all out of the way. But no, not for BMW, it isn't easy. Also took that earth wire off down there, so just to make room and gonna try to slide the cover in at the bottom and slip it over to the top. We'll see how we go. And then uh, next I'm gonna get a tester and cycle that motor and test it separately. So let's get it back together. Hey guys, so I've uh, got it mostly back together now. Just a few tips and tricks from my point of view. One thing that really helped was taking off the um, vacuum pipe off the uh, vacuum pump. So that gave me lots of room to get the um, valve cover back in there. And also tied, did the usual, tied all these cables out of the way, took off the two um, power cables here and got everything a bit more out of the way. One thing that really gave me the irks was not being able to disconnect this whole sensor array. So especially the one that goes down, I think, to the thermostat down the bottom there, um, just really got in the way. But I did take off this earth strap, that seemed to help. Anyway, uh, just having a quick squeeze in the uh, bore. So I've got my bore scope camera in there. So I'll just push that down. And this is the side camera. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I might put a couple of pictures on there. So some good cross honing going on on the bore there. That's the top of the piston and the valve's not looking too bad. A bit hard with this camera, it doesn't go. It doesn't have a mirror on it, which would be a bit of a risk down there if it dropped off, but I will get one that screws on, but a bit charcoal -y, not too bad. Do you see the head gasket there, I think? And uh, I'll just turn that camera around. Hopefully you can see the front camera. This might go to the dual view, uh, the dual view. So that's just going down through the whole top of the piston. Not too bad, we'll look at number two. Just get that in. Okay, oh, this piston's way further down. So you can see the piston right down the bottom there. Quite a bit of charcoal. Still there on the right hand camera, the bore looks okay. Pretty happy with that. And up to the valves. These valves are closed. Nothing unusual going on there. Number three, just get that down. And the piston's quite low down there. Again, a bit of carbon. Not too bad. Again, the bore, lovely condition, the bore. Look at all that cross honing. Still in great nick. And up to the valve. Get a view of the valve. There. Okay, not too bad, bit of carbon. 
And finally, the number four. Just try going down there with the camera. Put that in the two hard basket. Just gonna have to get over there to get that in. Okay, that piston is expected a bit nearer the top. And again, the valve not quite open. Okay, so nothing unusual going on there. No burn pistons, no no big surprises. Just change that camera view. I'll turn this light off so that you can probably see a bit better. Is that a bit better? So the one that was most interesting is where you could see the whole piston. Still a bit carbony. Certainly not being run hot. Uh, no signs of heating. I don't know, you tell me. What does that tell you? Answers in the comments. I'd say a bit too much carbon there on the right. Burning rich. Then looking at the plugs, they're all pretty dry. Slightly dry on the one side and burned, slightly sooty on the other. So I'm happy with that. I'll get some new plugs, stick them in, but I think for now, we'll just get that back together. And then, I don't know if you caught it earlier, but really the main concern I had was this connector, full of oil, and this, um, this sort of uh, seal that goes around it. So I'm gonna order a new one of those up and get that on there, because that's definitely where my oil was leaking down the engine. And that's all the oil on the front of the engine that's coming from there. Okay, covers back on. Silicon, I just put a couple of dabs of new silicon just in those corners. Hopefully it'll fix it. Otherwise I'll be ordering up a new seal, doing this all again, and maybe changing the motor once we've got the diagnostics. That'll do for now. Let's um, let's see what comes next. Okay, I fired it up and uh so far so good. Okay, so all cleaned up. Uh, just sprayed some degreaser on the front there and pressure washed that down. And uh, we'll just keep our eye on that and get back in there when we get some diagnostics and can see what's going on with this motor. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join me in the next update on the BMW.